Well, Zach and Olivia, it is a joy to be here with you today to celebrate and to bless your marriage and to remind you of God's great and gracious love for both of you as we honor your love for each other. As we take a moment to think about the marriage that you are entering into, I want to begin by sharing a reading that Olivia found that I believe and hope is both of your wishes for the days ahead. It is entitled, The Art of a Good Marriage. Happiness in marriage is not something that just happens. A good marriage must be created. In marriage, the little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say I love you at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is at no time taking the other for granted. The courtship should not end with a honeymoon. It should continue through all the years. It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is standing together facing the world. It is forming a circle of love that encompasses the whole family. It is doing things for each other, not in the attitude of duty or sacrifice, but in the spirit of joy. It is speaking words of appreciation, demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is not looking for perfection in the other. It is cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding, having a sense of humor. It is having the capacity to forgive and forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow old. It is a common search for the good and the beautiful. It is establishing a relationship in which the independence is equal, dependence is mutual, and the obligation is reciprocal. It is not only marrying the right partner, it is being the right partner. I, Zach. I, Olivia. Take you, Olivia. Take you, Zach. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. For in sickness or in health. In sickness or in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. This reading reminds you of an important truth, that to have a relationship, you must commit to being the best you that you can be. It will take both of you, the love and support of friends and family, and the attendance on the wishes of God to create the long and loving life that you both desire. It is my great joy to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Zach and Olivia Stoffels.